Hello guys! So once again, for today's video, I will be discussing the fingerprint classification system which is specifically the Henry classification that was modified by the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Okay, so we are now on our last video for this uh, video series on the Henry classification and we are, we are now going to discuss the key classification. Our key classification is done by exhibiting the ridge count of the first loop pattern, which is either radial or ulnar, among the fingerprint blocks except the block 5 and the block 10. And our classification under the key is placed at the extreme left of the numerator in the classification line. So it is under the left of the major classification. So for our procedure under the key classification is to determine the first loop pattern. Take note, we are going to look for the first loop pattern and we are going to start from the right thumb. So if there are no loop pattern on the right thumb or under the black one, we are going to look for the first loop pattern in black 2. Again, if there is no loop pattern in black 2, we will proceed with black 3 and then black 4. However, after block 4, we are going to proceed with block 6, block 7, block 8, and block 9. Take note, we are not going to include here in looking for the first loop pattern the little fingers or the block 5 and block 10. Since we have already identified the ridge count under the final classification. The question is, what if there are no loop patterns among the 10 fingerprint patterns? So, we have here the rule, if there are no loop patterns, we are going to reach count the first world pattern except the little finger. So, it is actually the same with the major classification wherein if there are no available loop patterns, we are going to reach count the world pattern. To recall on how are we going to reach count the world patterns, these are the guidelines. So, the same guidelines from the final classification with the key classification. So, they have the same rule in reach counting the world patterns. So, the details of these rules in reach counting the world patterns was discussed on the video regarding the final classification. So again, in plain worlds and central packet loop worlds, it will be treated as ulnar loop. And for the double loop world, it will be reach counted from the left delta to the upright or the vertical loop. And last is, if it is an accidental world, it will be reach counted from the left delta for the right little finger and right delta for the left little finger up to the nearest 4. Again, if you are confused with the rules in reach counting world patterns, you can watch the video on final classification because the details were discussed and there are given examples about this particular, particular rules in reach counting the world patterns. The next rule in key classification is that if there is no loop pattern or world pattern or in other words, the fingerprint patterns only contain an arch pattern, whether plain arch or tented arch, do not put a dash just like the final classification, just leave it blank. And uh, under the last rule of the key classification is that the result will always be placed in the numerator or above the classification line, regardless of the finger use. So in other, word, in other words, if it is uh, taken from the black 6 to black 9, 
Still, we are going to place the result of the key classification on the numerator or above the classification line. We have here another example. Again, we will not include the two little fingers in key classification since it was already identified in the final classification. So we are going to look for the first loop pattern and we are going to begin on the black one. In this example, in black one, we do not have any loop pattern, even in black two, even in black three, and then black four, and then black six, black seven, black eight, and at last we have here a loop pattern under the black nine. So since it is a loop pattern, we are going to just copy the ridge count and we are going to place it on the numerator or above the classification line. So we have here three. Now in cases that black nine is not a loop pattern, we are going now to look for the first world pattern. So in cases that again, this is not a loop pattern. We are going to have here the uh, first block as our key classification and we are going to apply ridge counting in the whirl pattern. This is now our last example under the key classification. So we are very much lucky because uh, we have here block one. It is already a uh, loop pattern so we will just copy actually the ridge count of the first loop pattern we have here 13 so we are going to place it on the numerator or above the classification line so if you are going to observe in this example this is now the complete henry classification from primary up to key classification. That's it for this video. So thank you again guys for watching. And I hope you will like, comment, and share this video. And please don't forget to subscribe our channel for more videos to come. Hoping again guys that you will watch the videos on the following topics. Thank you once again.